Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy, headed to do my episodic flyby of the regional hospital to see whether the bodies are stacking up, which I've been doing for about a month now, and the good news is there are no bodies stacking up. The bad news is um, that despite that, the coon man, like many other governors around the country, has shut down the state. We've had a reported about 320, I think it is, deaths attributed to the Wu flu. Of course, we don't know whether the Wu flu actually killed them or it was just old age, complications of old age, complications of underlying conditions, since they're attributing the death of practically everybody to Wu flu at this point. You can't really determine cause of death without an autopsy. A lot of these people aren't being autopsied, etc., etc. But let's just take it at face value and say it's 320 people. 320 people out of a state that's bigger than a lot of European countries that has millions of people living in it and uh, thousands of businesses that have been cratered and destroyed by this permanently in many cases because they're not going to be able to survive uh, not having had any income for a couple of months and more to the point a lot of their customers who've also been force unemployed aren't going to have the money to buy anything from these businesses uh, it's absolutely outrageous um, I wrote something about this in a column the other day. Where does the government get the right to impose tangible catastrophic harm on millions of people because someone might get sick? It's really important to emphasize, might get sick. We're not talking about uh, immediate, clear causality. We're talking about the possibility that someone might get sick and then the possibility that somebody might die from getting sick. Uh, and. On that basis, millions of people are being devastated. It's outrageous. Now, here we are at the hospital, looking around, not seeing bodies stacking up. Uh, I'm seeing some health security theater, people wearing masks, which, by the way, is not helping matters at all because it's inducing or it's accelerating this health psychosis, this sickness psychosis that's being egged on and fanned. Uh, it's creating the impression that there's some sort of horrible crisis afoot when there isn't. A couple hundred people have gotten sick. A couple hundred people have died. A few hundred people. That's it. That's it. And I'm not making light of anybody's death, but I'm just pointing out that uh, that is part of life, unfortunately. None of us lives forever. Um, and the idea that we should give up our lives on account of some people losing their lives is insane. Anyway, here's the Regional Trauma Center again, which is as empty today as it was weeks ago. And by the way, remember weeks ago when we were told about the looming exponential increase in the body count? How come we haven't seen the exponential increase in the body count? And how come people aren't getting outraged about this? So there you go, there's nothing going on again. You can see there's the front entrance. And how come people continue to listen to these, these frauds, the government and uh, its, its lampreys, the media and so on that have hyped things like the weapons of mass destruction, the mushroom clouds, and who systematically lie about everything and who have at, at, at best, let's not even use the word lie, but let's just say they've been incompetent. They've been incompetent. They have been unable to be accurate about anything. This whole lockdown is predicated on models that have faulty, inaccurate data fed into them. We were told about millions of people dying, then hundreds of thousands of people, now tens of thousands of people. Maybe they're talking 60,000 maybe will die, which just for the record is about the same number of people who supposedly died from or with the ordinary flu back in 2018. Uh, people are finally starting to get pissed about it, though. There are spontaneous eruptions uh, happening around the country. I don't think it's coincidental that it's happening about 30 days into this lockdown nationally because 30 days is the billing cycle. Most people get their, uh, their mortgage statement bill, their rent bill, uh, their credit card statements, uh, their power bill, all of those kinds of bills are revolving and they generally uh, come in the mail once a month, uh, usually right around now. So all the people, all the millions of people out there who haven't been working because their work has been decreed non-essential are being presented with all of these bills that they can't pay. And I think they're beginning to get justifiably angry about it. We all need to get angry about it. This is out of hand and it's got to stop. This idea that the country is going to get locked down every time there's a supposed asserted threat of something uh, is not only insane, it is tyrannical, and it has to stop. 
Uh, nobody has the right to take away your liberty uh, or your, your business because they're worried that something might happen to somebody. That's not America. Uh, and it's something that's even worse than the old Soviet Union, where even in the Soviet Union, they didn't do such things. So, got more up on the site, epautos.com, the web's best libertarian gearhead site. Uh, hope you'll stop by. And by the way, notice that I'm wearing my ear tag. I encourage everybody to get their own ear tag. Uh, I'm happy to provide an ear tag, actually, at no charge whatsoever and personally signed by me. Uh, just let me know you'd like one, and I will happily send you one. There are details on the site. Uh, you can find those at the end of every article. There's a little link you can click on uh, to find out about that, and we will catch up with you again soon.